Welcome to my channel, Rudy Romo here, to share verbatim ARK Invest's Tasha Kini's article about autonomous vehicles and the staggering impact to the global GDP, gross domestic product. In my opinion, Tesla has the best full self-driving software in the world, and they will own the lion's share of this new promising industry, which is expected to reach a staggering 26 trillion by 2030. This is a comment made by Elon Musk during a uh, Twitter Spaces event on July 14th about XAI launch when speaking about Tesla's full self-driving software. This is what he said. If I look at the experience with Tesla, what we have discovered is that we have overcomplicated the problem. I can't speak in too much detail about what Tesla has figured out, except to say that in broad terms, the answer was much simpler than we thought. We were too dumb to realize how simple the answer was. Elon went on record weeks ago to say that he thinks FSD level four can be achieved this year in 2023. Elon has overpromised in the past, but with Dojo Supercomputer up and running, the FSD progress is expected to accelerate. I will add that there's a lot more buzz on Twitter and YouTube among beta testers and Tesla owners that Tesla FSD level four is very, very close. Autonomy is not just a matter of economics. Countless lives, up to one and a half million globally, as estimated by ARK Invest, will be saved with this technology. Transportation costs will be a fraction of today's prices and humanity will be more productive. Do not underestimate Dojo's contribution to this earth-shattering technology. Tasha calls autonomous vehicles one of the most productive innovations of all time. I personally think that the Optimus bot, once released, will make an even greater positive impact to society. Just my opinion. And now, let's dive right into Tasha's article. July 14th, 2023. Autonomous vehicles could be one of the most productive innovations of all time, impacting global gross domestic product, GDP, by approximately 20% over the next decade, according to ARC's estimates shown below. Previously, ARC has shown that autonomous cars potentially could reduce accident rates and cut transportation costs. In this piece, we examine the outsized impact that autonomous taxis could have on the global economy. Weighing the potential positive economic impacts of autonomous taxis against the potential negative economic impacts, ARC estimates that net GDP gains could approach 26 trillion by 2030. If so, the boost would be 26% the size of the US economy today, as broken down below. If autonomous vehicles save 30 to 35,000 lives in the US and 1.2 to 1.5 million lives globally, their impact will be unequivocally positive. That said, as measured by the GDP, the impact will be little more nuanced. On the negative side of the GDP ledger, autonomous electric passenger cars probably will lead to fewer accidents, which, while good for passengers and drivers, could hurt economic activity. A reduction in accidents would result in fewer repairs, fewer hospital stays, and lower insurance take rates, reducing GDP by one trillion per year. The negative impact of fewer accidents on GDP, however, should be more than offset by the positive unmeasured economic benefits associated with preserving lives and reducing injuries. In addition, employees who otherwise would be out of work should continue to contribute productively to economic activity, adding $3 trillion to global GDP per year, according to ARC's estimates. Once freed from manual driving responsibilities, passengers in autonomous vehicles could benefit from enhanced safety as well as newfound free time. In the U.S., the average car owner drives more than 420 hours per year, which is about 10 work weeks. Passengers in autonomous vehicles should be able to work or play catch-up on emails or stream films, both of which would have a positive impact on GDP, according to ARC's research. The productivity uplift could be $17 trillion globally. In addition, ARC's research suggests that electric vehicles will dominate autonomous travel, thanks to lower operating costs and prices, as they resync in line with Wright's law. As a result, GDP would lose the $1.2 trillion in annual fuel and maintenance revenues associated with gas-powered cars globally. 
Finally, because autonomous taxis should offer lower cost per mile traveled, ARC expects personal auto sales to drop in urban areas, hitting GDP by 1.8 trillion per year, though partially offset by 1 trillion in autonomous car sales to fleet operators. Autonomous cars, in turn, could transform unpaid driver activity into measured economic activity and potentially generate $9 trillion in service revenues annually. By 2030, therefore, we believe personal autonomous travel could add a net $26 trillion to global GDP per year. On the positive side of the ledger, GDP could increase $30 trillion thanks largely to autonomous ride-hail service revenues and the increased productivity associated with farm time. Negatively, it could hit GDP by $4 trillion per year based on the measured economic impact of fewer accidents, lower gas-powered vehicle sales, and lower fuel and maintenance costs. ARC expects autonomous ride hail to add 2 to 3 percentage points to global GDP per year by 2030. An economic impact greater than the combined boosts delivered by the steam engine, robots, and IT, as shown below. In other words, we believe autonomous taxis could be the most impactful innovation in history. The end. Considering ARK invests higher estimates of $26 trillion for the robo-taxi industry, and the fact that the global economy is expected to rise from today's $104 trillion to $150 trillion by 2030, the possibility of Tesla's market cap reaching multiple trillions of dollars is becoming more and more realistic by the day. As mentioned in previous videos, as long as Tesla continues to execute on its master plan, even the sky is not the limit. Just follow SpaceX. If you feel I missed anything, disagree with any of my points, or have any ideas on how to improve these videos, please comment below. Thank you for watching. If you find this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe so it can get to more people.